Hi everyone, welcome back. I have a box here from a shop called Pulp Addiction. It actually is a real store, but I got this ordered online. And I thought I would share with you what's inside. Dun, da, da, da. Okay, so a bit of a random collection of things today. Um, I have, first up, I guess we can all see this book, this collection of field notes books. So this is a set of three 48 page memo books from the field notes um, company and I guess that's all I'm gonna say about what about these books I'm gonna tell you why I bought them in another video because I'm just waiting for something to arrive I had a company reach out to me and asked if I would like to um, review something for them and this is what fits inside so I thought I would uh, pick these up before it comes because I like to be prepared so I'll just show you what these look like. This is like a like a limited edition. It doesn't say so on here. I'm not writing it down to remember it later. I'm writing it down to remember it now. That's very much true, isn't it? So three field notes books, all 48 pages. They're all um, dot grid. And this one, as you can see, has a copper edge. This one has a gold edge, oh, sorry, a silver edge, and this one has the gold edge. And I just noticed also inside that the um, dots are the same colour, it's like a gold dot. This one has a grey dot, and this one has a orangey coloured dot, like the copper. So, I don't know if you can hear this, but they make funny sound when you open them they just need loosening up I think they must be very tightly compacted um, but anyway they're like nice and loose now so um, I'll just put those to the side they're exactly the same so I'll just show you this one this is the gold one as you can see gold foil on the front and these ones are silver and copper on the front 48 page memo book durable materials made in the USA on the back it just says fieldnotesbrand.com and, and as you can see, it has the gold um, all the way around the edges. It's very pretty. Now, inside the front cover, it has a black um, cover. This Field Notes memo book is property of a pertinent coordinates. Um, for internal records here, we have start date, completion date, and location. And in the event of misplacement, if found, please contact. It's got an email address and whether there is or isn't a handsome reward waiting. <laughs> That's pretty cute. And in the back cover, let's see, um, it is a better, the story about the um, Field Oats Company. And uh, there's also a ruler on the side here, up to uh, five centimeters, sorry, five inches. And this part here is, um, it says AU Gold, as you can hopefully see there. And um, this is the gold book. So it says here gold is a chemical element which belongs to group 11 coinage materials in the periodic table. Almost all gold is in the Earth's crust and mantle is thought to have been delivered by asteroid impacts approximately 4 billion years ago. So this is called um, the uh, group 11 collection of notebooks. Uh, the gold, the copper and the silver. And that, as it says here it's um, group 11 is the spot in the periodic table where these elements live and it was a limited edition collection. I don't know, they're still available on the Pulp Addiction website but they're not currently on the fieldnotesbrand.com website so I believe they might have um, had their run and they're done now. So um, I was very happy to pick these up because the others, the standard ones are generally craft or some kind of pattern and I really love the white look and also you can cover them of course with whatever you want. So we looked at the gold inside, the silver is going to have the same front and back of course but um, in this one it tells you about silver um, but it says silver is a chemical element which belongs to group 11 coinage metals in the periodic table. Aside from its value as a precious metal, silver exhibits the highest electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity and reflectivity of any metal. We a nice little chemistry lesson today. And I am a chemist, so that actually is quite cute. And then copper, um, it says copper is native metal, meaning it occurs naturally um, in a directly usable form. The history of humans working with copper dates 
to 7000 BC. 7000? Oh my goodness, my eyeballs. 9000 to 9000 BC. So, yes, very cute. Love the size. They are, if you're playing at home, three and a half by five and a half inches, which is about nine centimeters by 14 centimeters, a little bit under. So it's smaller than a four by six photo, if that makes sense. Um, that kind of gives you an idea, I think. Okay, let's put those aside and see what else is in the box. I'm sure you spotted these two Caveco tins in here. So let's open these up. These may not be what you think they are. Okay, so this is the Caveco tin, standard tin that most of their pens come into. It says license to write and um, the address of the company there in the bottom. All right, let's open this up and see what's inside. Mm -hmm. So pretty, look at this color. And let me take it out of the packaging so you can see it clearly. Uh, so this, as you can see, is a beautiful mint color, but look at the end. This is actually a mechanical pencil. So it compares in size with uh, the beautiful fountain pen, same, same size. Um, it does come with the clip, which my fountain pen didn't. I had to buy the clip separately. So let's just pop that on. Yeah, so I had to slide that up from the bottom. It won't actually, um, it won't actually go down from the top. So I'll just, that's quite a bit of pressure to move it up the pencil. Oh, okay. And it's now stuck in that position, of course. <laughs> Um, okay, let's uh, let's try it out. So I've got my Habanichi Weeks here, and I might just flip to a spare page in the back. Here's my notes section. I might do it right at the back. So it's just a click down on the top, and you can close it up that way, of course. So I'll just write here. It's actually quite a soft, um, soft pencil, and you can see it's not a terribly black um, lead that's in there or graphite, whatever we want to call it. So um, I actually assumed there would be some refills in here. I, I didn't. I mean, I didn't read about refills, but I just kind of guessed that there might be refills in here, but there aren't. So let's have a look in here. Okay, so it says here um, for the push pencil, there's two pencils, a push pencil and a clutch pencil. Um, the clutch pencil, you add the leads from below. And this one, it says, I think this is the push pencil. It says to um, remove the push button and eraser if in a special case of certain ones, which this one doesn't appear to have an eraser, and insert a new lead. So... Uh, I think if I just pull this yeah, back off, um, it looks like you can insert a new lead inside of this here. Yeah, so there's my lead that's currently in there and it just slides down that tube and insert a new one that way. Well, that's pretty simple. I have some um, refills here for another pencil. Um, what I do like is that the um, nib, if you like, that holds the pencil um, lead when you push on it it doesn't go in as well a lot of mechanical pencils that I have this bit also retracts and I like that it doesn't so I will probably move I think I might move this um, clip I feel like it's just not quite in the right spot I want it to be on the directly opposite that I think so that that goes over um, so you can see there it slides up quite Quite easily until it gets to the top where it's tapered out a little and it gets a bit tighter but that's good I think because it'll stop it from slipping down so that's the Caveco uh, clutch pencil uh, sorry push pencil um, so as you can see it's quite small um, and that's that's good right I like that it's quite small with the fountain pen you know you have the option of posting the lid which does turn it into a relatively normal sized pen and that's quite good um, as well. I do enjoy having that extra 
um, not that not just the length of the pen but also the weight of this cap at the top is quite good because this pen is very light without the cap um, this pencil is a little bit heavier than the pen uh, which is interesting because my pen is aluminium and this is just plastic but it feels like in here where the mechanics of the pencil coming the lead coming out it feels quite weighty at this point not super heavy it is still quite light but I believe that's where that's where the most of the weight is going to be so let me just pack this up and we'll have a look at the other Caveco tin sitting there and we'll just have a chat about everything all together Okay, so here's the last Kiveco tin I have here, exactly the same as the other one. And let's take a look inside. All right, so we have here, um, this is the cappuccino color, just from memory. It doesn't tell me on the packaging at all. Um, and this one, if you can see, is a ballpoint pen. Um, now, why did Desley do this, we ask? I was super keen to try out the pencil more than anything and um, can you see that blue on the end there? I feel like it's the wax part but it's actually not. Let me just test it out. Um, I really wanted to get the pencil and uh, then I saw the ballpoint pen which I knew existed. Um, let me just try this out down here. Oh, it's blue ink, which I did not realize. Um, ballpoint pen. So blue ink, which I'm, I may need to rectify. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's got this blue around the bite base there, which feels to me like it's, well, I thought it was the wax, but maybe it's telling me what color ink is in the pen. I'm not sure. So it is just a push end, just like a normal clicky pen. Um, but as you can see, the color is beautiful. It goes very nicely um, with this planner, I have to say. Um, and let's have a quick read about the ballpoint pen. So it says, screw the ballpoint, the ball pen open, remove the old refill and set a new one and screw in the mechanism. Super, super simple. Doesn't sound very difficult at all. So let's try it. That's very easy to unscrew. And oh, yeah, there we go. So it says Kaveco Soul 1.0. All right, so I'm going to investigate what other refills can go in here. Does this just pull out? Yep, just pulls out. Um, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I'll investigate why the refills can go in here. As I said, this was from um, Pulp Addiction. So I'll head back to their website and see what else they have. But I'm sure there are plenty of other places that have them as well. So then we just have to screw that back in. There we go. That's, that's tight now. And we have our cute little pen. So let me just move this to the side. I'll just pop the um, clip on as well. I quite like actually that all my clips are silver. So there we have our three Kaveco pens. Um, we have the ballpoint, sorry, the fountain pen, the mechanical pencil. Um, so this is um, the rose gold. Um, aluminium sport. This is the ball pen in, sorry, the mechanical pencil push pencil in mint. And then this one is the ball pen in cappuccino. I think the colors are just stunning. Really, really pretty. Okay, while we're here, let's see what else is in this box. I'm sure you can see we have some mild liners. So if you didn't know, uh, Zebra have just come out with 10 new colours for Mild Liners and um, I thought I would pick them up. I'm a bit of a fan of the old Mild Liner. I don't use them super often, but I do love, um, you know, the option of having them. So let me just see if I can chop this open. There we go. So 
so as you can see by the packaging they were divided into this um, this one that shows the green, this one that shows the orange and I feel like they're kind of cool colours versus warm colours sort of so uh, let's um, swatch them out hey I have here I'll just try to keep them separate for the moment so that I know which ones are which I have here my um, B6 Malala from Kiki K and this is my um, it actually was my, you can see 2021, the vinyl has moved around a little bit. But this was my uh, One Little Word from 2021. And in here I did um, swatch my Tombows and my Mild Liners. And I was in the process of, let's just zoom you in a little. Um, they all have a, n a number on, on them and also two letters that mean, so this is mild pink, mild blue, mild blue green, um, etc. And I think there are 22 of these. Sorry, 25. I should have known that because they are always released in packs of 20, uh, packs of five. So there are 25 colours there and now um, they Zebra have added 10 new colours. So I was going to just swatch them on the same page but I don't have any room left unless I just write them over here and ign ignore the rest of this because um, I kind of want to compare them alright let's do them on this side for now so that we can compare them but I do want to do them in my Hobonichi weeks as well so I'll start with this one which is WKT7 which is what all of these are and the color is MDGR, which to me says it might be mild gray. Um, this is, says MGR for mild gray, and this one is MDGR, so maybe it's mid, mid gray. I don't, I'm not too sure. It's quite a dark color. Look at that. It's very dark. Um, and what I'll do that I didn't do on the other one is use the other end just to do a little squiggle so we can see the colour a bit more clearly. Let's just record. I'm not going to put the WKT7 because that's what they all are. It's just MDGR. Now the reason I'm doing a little squiggle next to it is because I am actually doubling up a little bit in the, in the square so that you're getting kind of a saturation of the colour rather than just seeing how it looks on its own. So this is um, MCYA, so cyan mild cyan maybe I'll do the yellow next this one is um, MLY now I believe um, on, on there's a website maybe a zebra website that does talk to you about the color names so I think that's what I was doing here um, with my friend Zainab from Point Blank Stationery Co. She was helping me because uh, I bought a lot of mild liners from her to finish off my collection. Um, and yeah, she helped me understand the colours. Okay, so there's the last two colours. They're very sweet, these last two in particular. I really like those. And then we move on to these much brighter ones. So let's start with the green yeah the greeny one this is MSG <laughs> MSG oh, I'm looking forward to putting these in my um, Hobonichi as well this is called MLV so violet I guess or a lavender MLV and lastly what is probably going to be my favorite of all of them it's MFU which is probably fuchsia oh I forgot to do the squiggle on the last one I'll just do that okay that's MFU so look at those colors they're very pretty I quite like that. Um, so I just want to see, I've just noticed here that MFU, MFU, MCG, 
MCG, MMGO, MMGO. Okay, so turns out none of these colors are new. I'm pretty, I'm pretty annoyed about that actually. Um, I saw online that that um, they'd released these ten new colors, and on the Pulp Addiction website it does say new for these two packs. Whether it's new that they're putting them together in this particular configuration, maybe it's a new pack. But these ten colors that I've just bought are the same ten colors that we already have. So I have my, this is my collection of. Um, mild liners and I was just saying to my friend Denise last night that I'm not going to fit any more of these new ones in here but none of them are actually new as it turns out they're all they're all existing ones so yeah there's that one <laughs> and there's the grey um, so look I'm not super bothered that by the way it was $20 for the collection of 10 the two, it was two packs sold as, as one um, set like one set on in a, in a bundle um, so I'm not super concerned that I have 10 colors that are the same that I already have. I'm a bit annoyed to be perfectly honest because I thought they were new, but obviously I should have done my research better. But I am trying to have um, some double ups at work and at home. I don't want to take a pencil case to and from work all the time. So maybe what I'll do is I'll keep these ones here and I'll pick out the same ones from the box and I'll take those ones to work. I'll keep the new ones at home. Um, we're putting together a wall planner of events and things like that so I think that'll be useful for that. So annoyed in a way <laughs> that I've bought what I already have. Um, it's $20 I could have spent on something else but um, oh, it is what it is hey. So that is my little collection of goodies from Pulp Addiction. Very happy with them overall. Um, especially these. I'm going to love having a play with these. And there is actually one more Caveco pen on its way to me. I know how many pens do I need, but there is another one on its way. So I'm looking forward to showing you that one. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you know anything about new mild liners that aren't these colors, because as I said, I thought they were new. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks again. And I'll see you all super, super soon. Bye.